Welcome to the Vibrant You Health Show with your host, Blake Bars. At Nature's Pantry, our mission is to lead you to vibrant health through the best nutrition, supplementation, service, expertise, and healthy choices. In this show, we aren't interested in fads or quick fixes. Rather, we want to get into the holistic fundamentals of health. We want to answer questions like, what are the underlying causes to health issues, and what solutions can help lead us to vibrant health? You can watch every episode and listen to the podcast by visiting our website at naturespantry.life. The Vibrant You Health Show is brought to you by Terry Naturally Vitamins and Solar Ray Vitamins. At Nature's Pantry, we strive to work only with companies that maintain the highest standards for quality and efficacy. Terry Naturally and Solar Ray are two of the absolute best. Three, two, one. All right, everybody, welcome to the Vibrant You Health Challenge. This is the ninth edition, and we are so excited to get it rolling. Nicole, thank you so much for being with me. Yes, always. Thanks for hosting. It's wonderful. Absolutely. My notorious partner in crime. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's not really crime. It's like good deeds. But if you're going to call it crime, it's like we're robbing people of nasty habits. Right. You know, We're the health hustlers. <laughs> yeah. yeah robbing... We're going to help you get rid of all that boxed, processed, packaged mm-hmm. stuff and then reintroduce you to the simple, basic things that make health the greatest wealth. Amen. Amen. That's, that's so true. They're, they are simple. They are simple. They are basic. Um, it isn't complicated. It's just, we live in a world that is complicated yes. and the options are many, many. And so let's, uh, let's get rolling on this. So Nicole, what is the health challenge to you? Like, you know, do you feel like this is like a weight loss program or, um, like, you know, what's, what is it like compared to, do you feel like? So definitely no, not a weight loss program. It's definitely uh, about lasting change and creating new habits that you can sustain to make that change reality. So setting smart goals. And the thing I love about it is most of the stuff you're already doing. It's super simple to pick one thing to focus on that you're not doing yet and then just let that be your goal for the challenge to make it easy on yourself. And this is what we're talking about, bringing it back to the basics. When Blake goes over um, the sheet of the scoring system, you'll see just how easy it is and how you're probably already doing most of the stuff on the list. So to me, it's more of, it's not a quick fix. It's not a fad diet. There's none of that. It's just about creating lasting habits. And you start with one small habit, get good at that one. And then the compound effect, you add another one until you get good at that one. And then you can add more. Yeah. Oh, I kind of said it better myself. Small habits lead to big change. And I am walking proof of that. And Nicole is. And, you know, 10 years ago when I started working at Nature's Pantry, my life was not like it is today. I was uh, drinking a lot of, well, actually, before Nature's Pantry, because when I started here, I'd been sober a year. But I used to be a big alcoholic, had a big drinking problem. And, you know, by the grace of God, AA, help of friends and family, I got through that um, and got sober. But when I started here, I was still, I told Misty that we were going to live a life of great value, referring to the Walmart brand when we got married. (laughs) Oh, how wrong I was, how wrong I was. So um, when I started working here, I, you know, I had terrible heartburn. I, you know, just ate crap. I didn't realize how important it was to like, not only eat good and good diet and lifestyle to put yourself in a strong immune stance, but I didn't know any of the tricks from like herbs and vitamins and things you could do to like kick colds and, and get over them really fast or not get sick at all. Um, so I learned a lot of that got dealt with my heartburn, um, you know, just got in much better shape. You know, I'm been better shape now at 41 than I was when I started working here at 31. So that's awesome. And I know, Nicole, you had an amazing story, too. You've kind of come from rags to riches in the health world. And, you know, like, uh, not, yes. we haven't been to literal riches, but like health riches. <laughs> yes. Great as well. It is, really. And, you know, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis at just 22 years old, which is very scary. 
Um, and of course I used to smoke cigarettes. I used to eat nothing but McDonald's and Taco Bell. I mean, with the amount of, uh, emotional eating I did, I'm surprised I wasn't obese. And I mean that because you guys, I would wake up in the morning and I, I did really good in the morning. I drink water in the morning. I was never, never a coffee drinker, but I'd have cigarettes. So that was like my breakfast, water and cigarettes, right? So I'd kind of fast because <laughs> the cigarette wasn't really breaking my fast, right? And then for real breakfast, I would have like a pancake at the restaurant I worked at, at my sister's restaurant in Portland. And then I'd have hash browns with gravy. And then for a morning snack, I'd make myself a milkshake or a sundae at the restaurant. Like I got to eat there for free. So I literally ate all day long at the restaurant and then I'd go to Taco Bell and McDonald's after work and eat some more, you know, um, I was really unhealthy, really overprocessed. I did it to myself, but that's the thing is food was a comfort. And because nobody ever taught me that, you know, you're overeating or, you know, you're eating too much sugar or any of those things, I just thought it was okay to keep eating my feelings basically. And so I learned a lot when I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, but still I didn't make the changes I needed to back then. It wasn't until I was 27 that I actually woke up and was like, whoa, okay, if I don't change something, then I think I'm going to be on pills for the rest of my life. And I'm never going to feel good because by from 22 to 27, I didn't quit smoking, but I did try to eat a little bit healthier, but I was still taking pills all the time from the doctor. So, and I wasn't getting better. I was doubled over in pain all the time. And that led me to go into the natural healing. And I can say today, I don't have ulcerative colitis and I'm living proof wow. that we can come back from serious health ailments. Cause I was also diagnosed with other things too, that I don't have today as well. And I don't take pills either. So that's, that's such a, you have such a cool story. And so anyway, for those of you who haven't met Nicole, it's Nicole Haggerty. She actually helped us launch the juice bar here. Um, eight years ago when we did the remodel has worked here for a long time off and on but has helped the store tremendously in recent years she's now working here again and on top on top of her other trades which is she's a health coach she's a health and fitness coach um she helps with these challenges and so much more so um it's so great to have you nicole yes thank you and, and nicole nicole haggerty.com you can find her um all her info and contact her. And um, for those of you I haven't met before, uh, my name is Blake Bars. I'm the owner operator of Nature's Pantry in La Grande. I've lived here my whole life. I went to 19 years of school on the same street, Central Middle School, High School, EOU. So <laughs> I haven't uh, I haven't got around got got around too much in my life. So um, here we are. Let's get rolling on this. Um, so like Nicole said, this is not a fact bad diet. This is not a quick fix. This is about establishing the fundamental health habits that will lead to a strong immune system now and vibrant health for life. This is about small habits leading to big change. It's about, it's not about perfection. It's about progress, right? Like we, in this world today, we try to do it all at once. Um, we're bombarded. And if you try to do it all at once, you're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to give up because it's just too hard. But if we, how do you eat an elephant, Nicole? One bite at a time. <laughs> that is right. So we start one thing at a time. Now the challenge is comprehensive and we deal with all the fundamental aspects of health, like nutrition, hydration, exercise, sleep, sunshine, fresh air, supplementation, mental, spiritual health. But you, and you, I want to encourage you guys to keep your points in all the areas every day, but Focus on one area that you really want to improve in. Like Nicole said earlier, it's really important that we focus on that one habit. And that's what you can put as your personal goal. Um, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's, so, okay. So let me talk about um, a couple quick things here. And then we'll go into Nicole. So what do you know about this app? Do you, have I even told you anything about it yet? Oh yeah, you were showing me uh, yesterday when I was in the store for a minute. Yes, that's so exciting because it looks like it's going to be so easy to just put it all in there. Yes, so this is a beta version. This is the test version. Um, uh, we've always kept our points on Excel spreadsheets. 
and people have done them by hand and sent, emailed me their points at the end of the week. This is the first time we had an app. This guy that's building the app for me, he is here in town. It's awesome. I love him. He's great. His name's Connor Stone. And he um, just finished this in time. Like yesterday we met, um, he showed me the app finally after we'd worked on it for a long time. And it's like, okay, this is like pretty much ready to launch. And so um, we made a few adjustments and then literally like 10 minutes before this meeting, we pretty much had it ready to go. So I wanted to send it out to everybody. I sent the link out to everybody via email and text so that you have it. Um, and all you have to do is click the link and register because um, we're going to be going through it this time. I prefer people do the app um, and just because I want it, it's going to be easier for me um, to have one system than two different ones. Um, but also until we get the hang of it, you might want to keep your points, like at least your totals for the day or something on paper, just in case like we make sure this is working. We have backups set in place too, but um, I'm just not like super confident in it yet because we literally just got it. But um, anyway, so I just wanted to go over a couple things. Um, every, um, so every week, there's four weeks of the challenge. It starts October 1st and goes October 28th. That's four weeks, Sunday through Saturday. So you keep your points every week. Um, and we used to have you email them by Monday, but if we're doing the app, if you're going to do it by paper and you don't want to use the app, email those to me, um, every Monday by 10 AM at the latest, and then I'll send out, um, point standings once a week anonymously so, anonymous so you won't it won't be names it'll just be you'll be ranked in order of your points and again that's not so you can measure like seeing where we stand with others is helpful for accountability it's helpful to see where we want to improve but the goal is to measure yourself against yourself um because that's what the that's what really is the goal is for us to improve ourselves yes um, so challenger commitments um the challenger commitments I sent you in the overview, but it's to take full effort in all aspects of the challenge to adapt the challenge to you and where you're at. Keep it simple and achievable challenge together because we succeed much higher rate when we do things together. So um, if you have a partner in the challenge, if you're doing this with friends or family, that's amazing. If you don't have a buddy for this, please reach out. Um, we're happy to come alongside you and or join the Facebook and join the Facebook group too, because there's a lot of good um, community going on there. And come to the classes if you can, yes. because the community and the live events are gonna be game changer for you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, that's really important. Um, the goal is to always keep your points every day. If you get behind even a day or two, it can get really hard to get back on track. So make a commitment to keep your points every day, to write them down every day and to for me, I always do it in the morning for the day before. So just pick a time and stick to it. Um, the The next commitment is to add in as much real whole food and fruits and vegetables as possible. Um, the goal in this challenge is not one particular diet, vegan or keto or whatever, but rather to eat as much real whole food as possible and not processed food. The goal is improvement from where you are, okay? Um, attend and watch as many meetings and classes as possible. Um, uh, support the store and at nature's pantry and the cha and the health pros who help put this thing on so that we can keep doing it for free and to um submit your points every week on time and then i the last commitment is to watch at least one movie and read at least one book on the approved list during the challenge okay so and if you have any questions with any of that please just um reach out to me via email or text and I can help oh, uh, Stephanie says she's not seen the app when she clicks on the link from the text. So that might be something we need to work out later. Okay. Oh, hello, everyone who said hi. Thank you so much for saying hello, Annette, Julie. So yeah, it, the app is actually in a web browser. So it should just take you straight to a web browser um, where you can register. Um, is anybody having any luck with that? If anyone else wants to respond, uh, Annette didn't get the text with the link, and I didn't get the text with the link either to actually, so. Oh, you know what? 
I only got the text with the launch meeting link on it. Uh, do you know what? Um, I bet you that everybody's going to get these texts at like weird times because um, I've had this experience this before. Verizon, like th when I try to send out 120 messages, Verizon like throttles my data. So maybe turn your ringers off later. You might get it in the yeah, middle turn of the night. Your, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be coming at odd. Someone said, I got the link to the app via email instead. So yeah, try. Yeah, it goes to a website. Um, we don't have it quite on the app store. This is kind of the test version. Um, okay, so people got it. A so, couple people got it. A couple some people of, yeah, yeah, some of you are going to get it at a weird hour. Um, because Verizon doesn't like me when I text people, um, <laughs> a lot of people. So, Mass group text. Yeah. So also it's in your email. So hopefully you got it one of those places. If you don't have it by, you know, tomorrow, let me know and I'll get it to you individually. Um, so we also have the printouts at the store. If you, I did email out the score sheets, the Excel version and PDF, but if, if, you don't have a printer or didn't get those, we do have those printed out of the store. Again, I prefer everybody use the app, um, but it's fine if you don't want to do that for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of roll with it. It's a new thing. I think it's, I'm really excited about it, but I also know it's going to be a little bit of a hurdle this first little bit to figure it out. Get so, through all the key. Yep. Okay, so let's, let's roll with this. Um, Okay, so once you log, once you register and log in, you'll have you probably won't have the managed thing, but you will have um, home challenges and score sheet. So when I go to score sheet, I click on the day. Which as soon as we get into September, this will change, or as soon as we get in October, this will change to October. But right now, it's just showing one month at a time. So um, when I'm ready, I just click the day I want to enter my points for. And then I just go through this and I'm going to, we're going to just talk about this and how to score your points. Um, so Nicole, no, oh, and by the way, I, ch we changed this a little bit. So we made the um, nutrition points way worth more. And we changed the wording just a little bit. Main, the main changes are in the nutrition portion. So if you've done the challenge before, um, you can't get by on your old score sheets. You gotta get the new ones. Um, but you're getting way more points for nutrition, which yep. is amazing. So. I wanted nutrition to be weight weighted more because it wasn't weighted as much as I felt like it was worth. Um, okay. So let's start at the top. Okay. So I'll just go quickly through this in the, um, did anybody respond? They can see the screen. Okay. Yeah, I'm it's I can see it fine and nobody said anything. Okay. So we're good. Okay, cool. So this first section is nutrition. It's a big section. There's a lot of points here. I think there's 15, 25, 35, 45 points just in nutrition section. These four first four. Then in supplements, you got 10 points. Then in water, you get a max of 10 points. Sleep is a max of 10. Exercise is a uh, exercise size is now a max of 20. Um, sunshine, fresh air, 10, stress, screen time and sitting, 10, socialization, 10, um, spiritual mental health is actually a total of 20. Bonus is for um, any books or movies or classes or episodes you watch. Um, and the personal goal can be anything, and we'll get into that. All right, so let's start at the top. So those are all the sections of the challenge that you're going to keep your points in every day. So number one is one to five points for every meal with real organic, whole food, plant-based and or minimally processed ingredients. Okay, so like I said, this the goal of this is not a one particular diet. There's not a, it's not a one size fits all. It's a, that's why this and or is here. Because mm -hmm. I'm saying, so if you're eating a fruit, a vegetable, yeah. some whole grains, like wild rice yeah. or rice or oats or millet or quinoa, right. those things count. This isn't a vegan program. This, you, whatever, whatever your diet goals are. Um, if Right. If you eat meat and you're eating minimal, minimally processed meat, yeah. like grass fed organic right. is best 
just wild caught. If you right. are a hunter or your husband hunts, the wild game is great. Yep. Yep. So the goal, like, again, the goal is progress, not perfection. If the meal is an improvement for you and meeting your goals, give yourself points. Max 15, five points for every meal you miss during a fast. So I added this because last time I got into fasting a little bit, intermittent fasting, and I was like, well, you should get points for a fast. So if you skip a meal, you get full points for that. So, but only if you're fasting, not if you skip it on mm -hmm. accident or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even then I'd probably count it for me. <laughs> yeah. But I see what you're saying. If it's like a neglecting yourself kind of situation, you shouldn't get reward yourself for that. Yeah. If you're not taking good care of yourself and it's not an intentional thing. Um, okay. So do we have any questions on that first piece in the chat? No. And just go ahead and chime in if you think of something. Um, five points per meal for trying a new plant-based and or whole food recipe. See cookbook list. Okay, so um, we have a bunch of cookbooks at the store um, that are on the approved list. Um, you can find that list in the emails I sent you. Um, and if you don't know where it is, let me know. I can send it to you. But um, the... The so like for instance like forks over knives cookbook would be like a plant based cookbook the Daniel Plan cookbook would be one with meat um so there's that's there's a like a girl has plant based and meat yeah so. yeah so um whatever cookbook you like if you try a new that's on the approved list um would then you get points for trying a new thing because I think it's important don't you think Nicole. Yes, I do too. Especially if you're trying something new and, you know, you are not used to doing something like that. And maybe you're scared because I mean, it's change can be hard. So yeah, it is, it's, it's, you need to reward it for that because it is a big deal. Um, so the max is 10 points there. So you, if you did two, you can only get points for two new meals a day. Okay. Um, but you can eat as many as you want. <laughs> right. Oh, and back to the top one, one to five points. So this changed a little. Um, it's a scale. So it's going to take a little more brain power, but it also gives you the ability to kind of rate your meal, right? Like maybe it was a perfect five meal, or maybe it was like a three. Um, so you can kind of just don't spend a ton of time evaluating that. Just kind of be consistent throughout the challenge so that you, whatever you're doing, you're kind of seeing how you're improving. Like an example would be maybe you had like, a protein and vegetables and then you had like chips or something you know so you'd rate it accordingly or maybe you had protein and veggies in a whole grain that would be like a five meal okay so yep next uh one point for every serving of fruit and vegetables so uh, five to ten five to ten servings of fruits and vegetables per day is ideal we are not getting near enough fruits and vegetables we are not getting near enough fiber in our diets um as the American diet is not so this is a big one. A serving is half a cup. So one large apple could be as much as two servings is a good example. Mm -hmm. um, and max 10 points. So this used to be five to nine, but I moved it to five to 10. So you could get a little more on that. One to 10 points for avoiding refined flour and sugar, bad oils, processed food, fast food, fried foods, tobacco, and alcohol. Avoiding all of these equals 10 points in a day. And then subtract one point for every time you consume one of these bad foods on this list. Max is 10 points. So we made this more weighted because um, we think it should be more penalizing if you do eat one of the things on this because they're so bad for our health. And, but, and it's not to make you feel guilty about it. It's just to bring awareness to you. So you should think about starting the day in that category with a 10 and then by the end of the day, really be conscious about the points that you have in that category, just so you're aware of what you're consuming. So for instance, if you have zero points in that category, that should tell you by the end of the day, oh crap, I had refined flour several times. I had oils several times. I had sugar several times, whatever the case may be, but it's really just to bring awareness to what you're doing. Any questions on that one? Yes, good and bad oils. We do have that on the list, but you want to avoid things like safflower, canola, um, 
the artery clogging oils. Let's see. Yeah, seed oils. So the good ones are avocado, olive oil, um, coconut oil, mm -hmm. and olive oil, avocado, coconut, and I think there's one more. Um, I would also say real butter. Um, yeah, butter and ghee. Yeah, and ghee. If you have a, a dairy issue, ghee is. Um, if you have a butter issue, ghee is one that you could do. Um, I should probably add that to the list. Yes. Okay, so um, let's go to supplements. One point for every vitamin, mineral, herb, probiotic, or beneficial supplement taken each day. This is the easy one for me. Like I get, I get some major points here. Um, and I would count herbal teas. I would count vitamins. I would count tinctures. Okay, so sleep. 10 points per day for seven to nine hours of sleep. Five points for six to seven, but less than six, no points. This is my toughest category. <laughs> yeah, they, well, I'm with you. Sometimes I get up too early and don't get quite enough. Sometimes I go to bed too late and then get up too early. <laughs> so, yep. Yep. So, and then more than nine is also no points. Mm -hmm. So, that and can put you. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about sleeping, guys. We were just talking about sleep being first because our body has to reset. So if we're not getting adequate sleep, our body is not able to repair itself like it should. Plus, our body is doing all these amazing things while we're sleeping. And I know I just admitted to everyone that sleep is my hardest thing to get a handle on, but I do know how important it is. And I do make an effort to have a bedtime routine and get into bed and have some mindfulness because sleep really is one of the most important things for longevity and health. Yep. And if we're not sleeping uh, as much as we should, it can send a cascade of hormone disruptions, which can cause thyroid problems, adrenal fatigue, and cravings. If we're not getting enough sleep, we can actually crave sugar and processed foods and all kinds of things because everything just kind of gets messed up without the proper amount of sleep. So yep. just exactly. keep that in mind. Yep, your body is resting, recharging, it's detoxing. Your body takes the garbage out at night. So if if you are not resting good, your body is not detoxing very good. Also, your body is repairing tissues during that time. So if you are not getting sleep, your body's not repairing, it's not recovering, it's not restoring. So um, also getting in a really good circadian rhythm, going to bed at the same time. I, I'm a big fan of early to bed, early to rise. Um, there's a lot of research that talks about this and how good it is for brain chemistry. Um, Dr. Neil Nedley, who's a specialist in anxiety, depression, he says that at their clinic in their, um, what they have all the people do at the retreat is they always go to bed early and they always get them up at like 5 30 AM every day. They make sure they get up, get out, get some exercise, walk, get some fresh air, um, outside light, blue light from the sky, not from your screen. And uh, mm -hmm. that is so good for your brain, getting in that good circadian rhythm, that good sleep cycle. Well, and I do want to add one more thing, too, because women in your fertile years, you're very much operating off of your infradian rhythm. That's something that men don't have, and that has everything to do with our menstrual cycle. And so in the first phases of the cycle, women actually need more sleep than men. So getting to bed at the same time every night is great, but also sometimes women, you might need to sleep in a little bit too. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're feeling like you need more sleep or feeling extra fatigued, especially around your cycle, you yep. need to listen to that and get more sleep. Yeah. Um, if you are um, like sick or feeling like you're fighting something and you sleep more than nine hours, that I wouldn't dock you for that. Um, or like if you're in your cycle, like Nicole's talking about, but um, I was going to say sometime like Dr. Winters, he's a naturopath on the ground for many years. He used to always say that just turn the alarm clock off. He, he wanted people when they, when you're not feeling well, you sleep in, you sleep as long as your body tells you it needs to sleep. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, I would say the pink salt, mm, if you're putting it in your water for minerals, yes, that can count as a supplement in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, I'd count it. 
Mm -hmm. And then there's another question. Where did it go? How early to bed? Well, if you wake up at like 430 in the morning, like I do, you probably want to get to bed around 830 if you can. Yep. Um, so just try to count ahead. Um, if yep. you're going to bed around 10, maybe you should sleep until about six if you can. Yeah, I pretty much go 10 to five um, is what I sleep. But sometimes a little earlier to bed sometimes a little later up um by like half an hour one way or the other um and then on the weekends i usually let myself sleep in a little more but i okay. i think 10 you know i i you know i think if 10 should be i don't know i'm biased i don't think you should be up past 10 <laughs> so yeah so, you know, you don't want to get sometimes you get, you have to, but you know. Yes. If you don't want to get grounded in the challenge, you better be get into your bed by 10. It's a challenge bedtime. <laughs> I should make a I should make a point category for that. <laughs> Unless you're up sipping cherry toddies, then <laughs> you know, that's good for your sleep and your health because <laughs> there's no alcohol. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Is that a Purium recipe with a pot of cherry? Uh, yes, actually, but um, one of them too, Tim had from the Christmas one we did last uh, yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. From the happy hours you guys did on healthy drinks. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, it's Nicole Haggerty, your holistic health and fitness coach. If you want to improve your health and life and get lasting results, you have to be the change you want to see. Let me help you be that change. Find me at NicoleHaggerty.com. Hey, Eastern Oregon. My name is Justin Hernandez. I specialize in sports performance training for middle school, high school, and college athletes. My program goal is to optimize an athlete's potential on all playing surfaces. The Breakfast Club motto is creating elite athletes, but even better leaders. This is Summer Steele of Body Sayorsa. I am a licensed massage therapist and certified personal trainer. I work with bodies of all shapes, sizes, and abilities to help them live a fuller and freer life. Connect with me on Instagram and Facebook under Body Sayorsa, Body S A O R S A, or contact me at 541 786 5245. My name is Blake Bars, and I'm general manager of Nature's Pantry here in La Grande. I had a terribly unhealthy lifestyle when I started working here. I just didn't know how simple and powerful healthy habits could be. Now I love being able to lead others to vibrant health here at the store, through the health show, and in the health challenges we host twice per year. Learn more at naturespantry.life. Hey friends, Lisa here with Wild Holistic Nutrition and Fitness. As a certified personal trainer and holistic nutritionist with 17 years of experience, I'm passionate about guiding others in their journey to wellness. I work in the areas of sports performance, group and individual fitness, personal training, behavioral and nutritional coaching and gut biome health and assessment. I'd love to help you feel good so that you can thrive and meet the purpose you were made for. Tim James here, founder of ChemicalFreeBody.com and host of The Health Hero Show. After regaining my own health and having massive gut issues and surgery, I'm on a mission to help others do the same. If you're ready to make your health a priority, lose that weight, increase your energy, and just wake up and feel good, you can reach me at ChemicalFreeBody.com. Okay, so um, exercise, five points for every 30 minutes of exercise. Your steps count too. So every 4,000 steps equals 30 minutes. So um, if you work out for an hour a day and then you also walk 4,000 steps, that's 20 points right there. And if your job is physical and you're up moving, yeah. lifting, walking, count yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, always a golden rule is if you like it, you'll do it. So make it something, the exercise, something you like. Um, I like to play golf and a lot of people ride in golf carts. I walk 90% of the time. I walk it. I get my fresh air, my exercise. I do the thing that recharges my batteries and I'm refreshed and ready to go. Um, also, if you figure out ways, there's cheats to this challenge. If you do your exercise with a friend outside, you're getting social points you're getting outside air points you're getting 
exercise points. You're getting mental health points. So lots of different points. There's ways to do it. And here's something fun. I tell everyone in my classes, when you're exercising, smile, <laughs> because then your body is going to think that you like it for one. And for two, it's hard to think negative thoughts when you're smiling, but also it releases all of those feel good endorphins on top of the exercise, releasing them. And of course, like it says, make sure it's something you like. So if you don't know what you like, go try a class. We have so many different options in town to choose from, but make yeah. sure you try something out and mm -hmm. yoga. There's, plenty different styles of yoga, Pilates, lit, weightlifting, there's Zumba, there's dance, there's all kinds of stuff, you guys. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and um, I need to try that smiling thing. You know, in golf, it's so mental. And I've thought this before, actually, um, because you get all like anxiety about, oh, I don't want to hit it in the woods or out of bounds. And then <laughs> you, you don't want to shank it. And then you get all negative and but if you just smile, it's like, look, I'm doing this because I like it. So why don't yes. you just enjoy yourself and smile yes. and get out of your head? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Any questions on exercise? Uh, nope. I think we're good there. Okay. Five points for every 30 minutes of sunshine and or fresh air. So max 10 points. So that's pretty self-explanatory. I say and or because when we get into the fall winter time, sunshine isn't necessarily an option. So, but you can get fresh air and I don't know and I don't care how cold it is. In the winter, here's a cheat. I literally roll the window down in the car. And I breathe in the fresh air there in the go. car because sometimes I'm running yeah. here to there and I don't actually have 10 minutes to sit outside. So yeah. I'm getting that in wherever yeah. I can. hundred percent, hundred percent. And, you know, some people think that I've always done and we do at our house is open our uh, windows to our house regularly and air it out. That is super important for getting fresh air in getting bad air out like with germs and stagnant air and well and especially if you're just turning your heaters on for the yeah. first time open that up yeah get all that dust out of there we should be at least once a week getting that air if not daily getting that air flushing through the house and i'll tell you what when i was sick with COVID, i did that and we just cranked the heat up and we got that fresh air going through the house and one day i made myself get up and walk around the block and get that fresh air, even though I was not feeling like it. So it's really important for you to get those oxygen levels up. But, and it can make you feel good afterward. You'd be surprised. Yep. So, yeah, which I haven't been, what, shoot, I, I don't know. I was 2020 when I had COVID. Um, that was uh, quite a while ago. Um, so, okay. Nicole, screen time and sitting. Mm -hmm. That's the this new smoking. Is a big one. <laughs> yes, because sitting is like the new smoking. And so if you sit a lot for your job, I would recommend setting a timer for at least once an hour so you can get up for two minutes, walk around, fill up your water cup. I like to keep a little jar. This has tea in it right now, but usually I fill this up with water and I sip on this throughout the day and I set a timer. And I'll, even if it's still got stuff in it, I'll go fill it up with more water. And then I'm getting in some exercise and I'm not sitting the whole time in front of the computer and I'm drinking water. So yep. Yep. screen time is really bad for our eyes, but sitting is like smoking cigarettes to your body. It does that much damage to your body and your muscles and your joints. And when we sit a lot, you guys, it causes muscle wasting. And so it's really important if you know that you're sitting and your muscles are literally wasting away to get your booties up and stretch. You can literally just stand up for a minute, yep, yep. reach up to the sky, reach down, touch your toes. Of course, you might need to move your chair or whatever, but make it super easy, make it fun, make it light, set a timer if you need to, but just know it is so important. And that is something that I like, if I don't do it, I notice it at the end of the day, my spine feels compressed and I'm like, oh my gosh, because sometimes I'm guilty of it too. I just get into my work doing my thing. And then I'm like hitting snooze on the timer. No, you got to make that commitment. And once that timer goes off, you're stopping the timer and getting up. 
Yeah, or you can be a weirdo like me and put a treadmill at your desk. That too. <laughs> <laughs> or sit on a yoga ball too, and then you can do yep. some moves on the yoga ball while you're sitting there. Okay, yep. So that's one to five points for limiting recreational screen time. Now that's recreation. We're not counting work screen time. We all got to do lots of that. So, or some <laughs> of us do, unfortunately. But, or fortunately, I mean, it's all good. It's just, if you're doing lots of screen time for work, it's okay. Just make sure you're limited on your own time and make sure that you're getting up and moving and, and or stretching often throughout the day. And this, I'm just realizing as I'm reading this out loud, it's kind of confusing and I should have changed the verbiage a little bit. But give yourself, if you limit your screen time to two hours or less, give yourself five points. If you move around a lot during your day and stretch, give yourself five points. If you don't so good on the moving and stretching, rank yourself down in the points. Okay, socialization. How important is this for health, Nicole? Oh, it's very important. And it is actually one of the most important qualities of the blue zones, community oh. socializing. Wait, I thought social distancing was good for our health. Isn't that what they were telling us? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Psych? No. <laughs> we need yeah. community, you guys. Mm -hmm. Humans need other humans. Need and plus relationships. Mm -hmm. so and when we're doing important. things like this challenge, it makes it easy to get community. So if you go to the live classes, you're definitely going to get full points for your socialization. If you hang out with friends or family, you're going to get full points, even if it's family that you live with. Sometimes... We don't always see our family because maybe we're working in our home office or whatever the case may be. So stop what you're doing and make some connections with friends, family, strangers. Give somebody a compliment, a real genuine compliment. Maybe you like some shirt somebody's wearing. Go tell that person, you know, be brave, be bold. Yep, 100%. You know, there's literally medical studies that have been done on this and shown that you're, when you have loving relationships, your immune system is up. Every, literally every kind of disease, um, your odds of getting it go way down. And when you don't have loving relationships, your immune system's down, your disease odds go way up. It is, mm -hmm. um, it's a big deal, people. So make and sure- you know, you know how they say laughter is the best medicine? Well, it's easy to laugh when you're hanging out with people you love, so. Yes, 100%. And it is not good for us to be alone. We were made to be in loving relationships with other people, okay? And that brings me to spiritual health. Ty is a good, good segue right into spiritual health because we want to not be feeding our minds negativity through the news or through the, you know, people in our lives who are pumping that into our head or through the social media or all the other million places it gets crammed into our head from. We yes, because we are what we absorb. And when we listen to those things, we absorb them. Just like when we're eating, what we absorb is what our cells become. Yep. 100%. Just like what you put in your mouth, into your body matters, the same thing what you put into your mind and your soul matters. So focus on feeding your heart and mind positivity through practices like reading, prayer, devotion, music, meditation, thankfulness practice, or nature time. And you can get one to 10 points for that. So that's kind of like what you're putting in. And then another part of the spiritual health is focusing, being outward focused. Um, there's an old metaphor about the Dead Sea. Why, Nicole, do you remember why the Dead Sea is dead? Why does nothing live in the Dead Sea? I actually, I don't know on that one. Any guesses? Any guesses on the chat? Because it's stagnant. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's right, actually. But is but what end of it's stagnant? Hmm. Anybody want to help me out here? <laughs> does it, it, it either doesn't, so it takes water in, but it does not have an outlet. Thank you, Mike and Debbie. Did they get it? Yeah, there is no outlet. <laughs> yes, good job. So I think um, 
I think we were designed to be positively impact. What's the, what is it? It's more blessed to give than receive. And so it's by giving of our time, of our energy to other people, of our money to other people that really actually blesses us and, and, and leads to our health and healing. Because and, actually when we give, we receive too, because we receive what we put out. So a hundred percent. And so, um, so this is a, this is a big thing. You want, you don't want to be a dead sea. You want to not just receive blessing, uh, you know, from heaven to yourself or from other people to yourself, and then just let it stop in you. If it stops in you, you're going to die inside. But if you let it flow through you, you become a channel. The circuit's completed, right? From God to us, from us to other people, from other people back to God. It's a circuit completed um, of love flowing, and it's a beautiful thing. And uh, so one to 10 points for other focused act like meeting a need, speaking encouragement, appreciation, and or lifting someone up in your day. And so that could be as simple as, you know, texting somebody a kind word, or it could be as big as like paying somebody's rent or, you know, I don't even know. helping Or doing the pay it bills. forward at the coffee shop or yeah. what, you know, hundred percent, anything you want it to be. Feel Any free questions? to get creative. Yes, please do. That's, that's fun to to think of ways we can encourage one another. And share in the Facebook group too. Yes. That's another thing yeah. I want to encourage everyone to do. Share in the Facebook group because you might be going through something that someone else is going through and maybe this is their first challenge and they're too scared to say anything. So if everyone would please just share your experiences, share, maybe you want to introduce yourself too. That would be a great thing to do. Maybe you're new or maybe you're, you've been doing this for a while, but share in the Facebook group and really build that community with each other. Yes. I it's yes, please, please engage on that. That's a great, a great point, Nicole. That's a good way to encourage one another and to get points for your spiritual mental health. Any questions on that category? Nope, we're good. We're good. Okay, so um, bonus points. So I up the points on this. Books are now worth 500 points. So if you read a whole book on that list, the approved list, you get 500 points. If you watch a movie, you get 50 points. If you attend a class like tonight, tonight is worth 50 points. Or so you, you got your first later. set of mm -hmm. points tonight, everyone. Yep. yep. So if you get your points, and, and if you watch it later, it counts too. Um, and then also I added the Vibrant You Health Show episode. So we we do a podcast and you can watch that show at naturespantry.life. You can watch it or listen to it on your favorite podcast platform. So you yes. can get a thousand extra points in the bonus category, you guys. That's amazing. Yep. There's people who have done really good in the challenge, like they did good in all the categories, but they definitely, the bonus points put them over the edge to win the challenge. So it's a big, Oh, and Blake loves to give out prizes at the end of the challenge to challengers. And you don't even have to get a lot of points. You just have to, like we were saying, do something for you. Yep. So whatever you're improving on, just know you're going to get rewarded at the end of this. Yeah. And especially even if you, even if you just do all your points, all four weeks, that is a huge, that is huge. That is, you're going to just really improve in at least one area, probably more. And you're going to, it, it, that just takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of um, tenacity to stick with something for 30 days and go for it and be committed. Okay. So personal goal. One, oh, wait, even right. if it's not October, Stephanie, do you mean uh, the points, the 50 points for yes, the class yeah, today? As soon as, yeah. Yeah. As soon as yeah. you roll into the first week, put this 50 points in there. Yeah. So you can add it in mm -hmm. when you go on Sunday. Yeah. Just remember the first on Sunday when you're taking your points to add this in or anytime that week, mm -hmm. you can add it in anytime. Um, and then the personal goal is one to 10 points ter per day for the following goal. So this can be anything. As you can see, for me, I'm going gluten-free. Misty and I are both doing that. And Exciting. so we're going to give it a go. And so if I don't do gluten at all on a day, I'm going to give myself 10 points. 
Um, and yeah, your goal, the reason I have a one to 10 is so you can rate yourself. It gives you a little more flexibility in how you did instead of just 10 points or zero points, you can, you have a little bit. So this can literally be one of the things from the list. It, it doesn't have to be something you make up. You can make something up. You could get extra points for nutrition. You could get extra points for supplements, whatever you want it to be. Um, whatever your personal goal is, that's totally yeah. fine. Just something you're not already doing. Yep. So I'm just going to put my points in just to show you guys kind of how that works. And uh, I'm going to, then I'm going to show you something about this app. It's kind of cool. I don't know why that's. Okay, so I did really good and pretty much perf perfect the day, but I don't, I probably, that's not realistic. I probably got less than that, but I'm just going to save those points. Now they're saved. I'm going to go back to the score sheet calendar. And now my points 195 are in here on my calendar. So when I go, when I'm home on the app and I want to go to score sheet, it takes me to this calendar and I just click on the date. I want to enter my points and then I enter them and then I go back. And once I enter them and save them, it shows up on the calendar. And then the other thing is when you click on challenges, here's the challenges. So this is challenge number nine. And when you get done, you get a little badge for it. And we'll also be some other rewards as well. And then what this will show you once you click on the challenge is it will show you scores and rankings um, based on score of everybody in the challenge. And as anonymously, we though, yeah, anonymously, as we develop this out, we'll probably get some more stats in here, but we kind of had to just get a real simple version launched so we could get it going. And so you'll know where you are based on your score. Just mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Yep. Okay. Any chal any questions about anything? that we've shared tonight or the app or points. It can be any recipe that follows the guidelines for sure. Yes, Rebecca. Nope, no total we're hoping for because everybody's perfect score is going to be different just because everybody is in different spots. So there's nothing we're striving for. We're just striving to get some points. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say the goal, if you're going to have a goal for points, it's just to record them every day. Because seriously, I, I, what impresses me is people who'd get all their points done the whole challenge. That's impressive to me. I'm, you know, some people are on different, we're all at different points in our health journey. Some of us are 10 years along the road like I am. Some are 20, some are 30, some are just starting like right now. So we're all at different places. So it's most important to measure yourself to yourself, not to other people. Um, again, the, the ranking is nice because it kind of motivates you, keeps you accountable, but it's, but it's not, it shouldn't discourage us because we're all at different places. We all have different abilities. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah. And then I was just going to um, talk about the events coming up and we'll close this baby down. Okay, so um, Nicole, what's next week? We got a goal setting class next week. Yeah, Tuesday with Lisa. Mm -hmm. Is that at six thirty? Yep, it's at six thirty here at Nature's Pantry. Awesome. And then the following week. Yep. So that's going to be a really awesome class, guys. Um, please come in person. We will record that if you can't make it and send out a recording, but it's definitely going to be way better in person. So please come if you can. And you'll um, get extra points for socializing if you come in yep. person. So you'll get the points mind. for the 50 points for the class. You'll get the points for socializing. And um, and then the next week, we're doing a cooking class with Tim. We're actually going to be teaching people how to make a extremely high probiotic yogurt with several hundred billion probiotic. Um, that is exciting. I'm excited for that uh, class. Yogurt and a kefir. And it's going to be a really cool class. And then the following week, that's a, that class with Tim, the cooking class with Tim is Thursday, October 12th at 630. Um, and then the next week, we're going to be doing the seven day reset with Nicole. That will be the night we explain how to do it the Thursday before. And the seven day reset is an optional thing that challengers can do week four. It's basically, Nicole, a quick 
10 second summary. Uh, so it is a vacation from processed foods. It's a way to give your body a vacation and help your body's natural detoxification processes. So you'll be staying away from packaged box processed things and eating lots of food still, just whole alive plant foods. Yep. It's really cool. We're That was we, my 20 second summary. Hey, that was excellent. <laughs> that was excellent. And we've done it a few times and it's really, really helpful. Um, and then the health pro panel on week four, that will be with Nicole and I and Summer and Lisa. Um, Tim's actually going to be setting up a, he'll be in Columbia setting up a health institute down there, helping a guy do that. Yes. Health then, retreat. Yep. Yep. It's really cool. So then finally, um, after the challenge is over, we're going to have a big celebration um, potluck um, here at the store on November 2. And that is so exciting, you guys. And please come to the potluck if you don't have anything going on, because that is a great way to meet other challengers, to meet us health pros, and for us to all mingle and talk. So, Absolutely. And you don't Oh, have your to... birthday. Yay. Yay. I'll make you a cake that's healthy and you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. And so you don't necessarily have to bring anything. There's going to be lots You're of welcome. food. We'll make some extra food too. Um, but so you definitely don't need to make anything if you're busy. Please come. Don't feel like you have to make something to come. But if you have a recipe that you're excited about and you want to share it, that would be a good time to bring it. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Cool, Nicole. Good job. I awesome. think that was the best launch meeting ever, despite the, um, you know, the technical, technical issues. Yeah. I'm going to have to go splice those two video recordings. Together. I figured. <laughs> Yes, you're welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining and thanks for using the chat and helping us out with the questions. Oh, yeah, let's give a few minutes here for questions. The potluck is the highlight of the challenge, Kim uh -huh. says. Yes. Yes. Really appreciate is. you guys. Yes, Stephanie, you're we're so, so glad to have you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're stoked. You guys are awesome. This is going to be um, the best challenge yet. We got 119 people registered, I think. So. <laughs> So exciting. It's really cool. So, all right, guys. Oh, oh first, -timer. first timer, Michael. Right, Michael. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. That's awesome. I see we got Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Annette. Hey, Annette. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Cindy. Um, hmm, GB. Let me think about that for a second. Hey, Greg. Julie. Kim. Leah. Michael. Mike. Mike and Debbie. Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Stephanie. So good to have you guys all with yes. us tonight. We're excited. This is going to be cool. I'm excited to see how the uh, how the app works. So please keep me posted. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys are awesome. GB, we'll we'll talk to you later. It's a mystery. We'll <laughs> hey, find <you> guys, out. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you for investing in your health because you are worth it. And and Nicole, thank you so much. Yes, thank You're you. Awesome. All right, guys, good night. Here. Talk to you soon. The information provided in this show is intended for your general knowledge only and is not medical advice. If you have or suspect you have a specific medical condition or disease, please consult your healthcare provider. If your provider has a strong understanding of nutrition and holistic health, even better. The opinions expressed on this show are those of the host and the guests and do not necessarily reflect the views of Nature's Pantry.